is recognized for five minutes. I'd like to engage a colloquy with the gentleman from Pennsylvania. I thank the gentleman and I thank his uh, offer to engage in a quality, uh, colloquy. Uh, Mr. Chairman, as you know, money market funds are an important tool used by a variety of different organizations such as businesses, state and local governments, school districts, pension funds, nonprofits, and more. In fact, it is estimated that between 1985 and 2008, people and organizations that invested in money market funds have earned $450 billion more than they otherwise would have earned. Since the financial crisis, there, have been significant, there has been significant discussion about regulating the industry further. In 2010, the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, put in place new rules to prevent future runs by imposing additional disclosure and liquidity standards. Even after these changes, the Federal Reserve, through the Financial Stability Oversight Council, has attempted to usurp the jurisdiction and expertise of the SEC and proposed additional regulations on money markets. While the FSOC has since backed off with their proposal, the SEC is poised to vote soon on a rule to impose a floating net asset value on certain funds. I share many of the concerns that commentators on the SEC's rule raised about how a floating net asset value would adversely affect and adversely impact money market funds and the people and organizations that rely on them. In fact, it is worth noting that of the 1,428 comments on the rule, 98% were against the floating net asset value. Before regulators impose any additional changes on money markets, they must be certain that the costs and benefits have been thoroughly weighed. This includes ensuring that the likely tax changes that will need to be considered with a floating NAV are reviewed by the public in an open and transparent manner before moving forward. We should not eliminate money markets as an option for businesses, communities, workers, and retirees to grow and thrive. In closing, I'd like to thank the committee for its positive report language with respect to money market funds and thank the chairman for his time and consideration of this important matter. Well, I appreciate the gentleman giving attention to this issue. As you noted, we have included report language on money market funds within the bill. We're concerned about the issue and we will work with you as this bill moves forward. Will the gentleman yield 30 seconds? Yes. I thank the gentleman and look forward to working with him on this important issue and I yield back. I yield.